Howdy everyone, Duke here with the Queen's Botanical Garden, here to talk a little bit about the tan jumping spider, also known as Platycryptus undatus. Alrighty kiddos, so first we're going to look for our camouflaged friend. Now in its natural habitat, we can find it here in North America, anywhere from the East Coast to the Midwest, down to our friends in Texas. Now, hmm, if we look real close, maybe we can find them today. There's some nice tree bark. Hmm, little clouds of dirt. Some stick with some fungus on it. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. There he is. Up in the top left corner. Let's see if we can get a better look. Now our tan jumping spider here is indeed a male, hey buddy, because of that orange mustache of his. The female spiders can be identified by a white mustache. Now these spiders typically aren't going to hurt humans and are curious about us, that's why he keeps looking up at the camera here, hello there. Now in addition to the two big ol' eyes in the front, he's also got three other pairs of eyes for a total of eight, like most other spiders, to help him get a 360 degree view of the world. Now even though the front pair of legs, or arms, are much longer than his back legs, it is indeed the back legs that give him all of that jumping power. And remember, if you see this little guy at home, don't hurt him, because they're not poisonous and they naturally don't want to bite humans. Looks like he's ready for a jump. Oh, let's see if we can give him a better landing zone. Now before each miraculous leap, our spider here makes a drag line, boom! or like a safety line of webbing, just in case it doesn't quite make the jump. Now let's give our little action star a bit of a break and learn a little bit more about those B-E-A-U-tiful eyes of his. Ah, there's our fine orange mustachioed friend. Now the pair of eyes that look like our human eyes are called the anterior median eyes, or A-M-E for short. And the pair behind those are called the anterior lateral eyes, or A-L-E for short. And sorry parents, that's not the kind of ale you can drink. Now, in our bird's eye or dorsal view, we can see that there are the posterior median eyes, or P-M-E for short. And behind that pair of eyes are the posterior lateral eyes, or P-L-E for short. As important as it is to learn the facts about our spidery friend here, as well as other forms of wildlife, it's also important to take a minute, sit back, relax, and observe nature doing its thing. Did you notice the drag line in some of those last few jumps? This time, let's take another look at some jumps, but in slow-mo. Finally, kiddos, the piece de resistance, the final jump of our friend here before we set him free. From all of us here at the Queen's Botanical Garden, we hope y'all enjoyed this video and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. 
For more fun videos, activities, and lessons for the whole family, be sure to check out QBG at home. Thanks for watching!